Hello everybody, this is Joe, the Over 40 Model Maker, here again for part two of our new series of unboxing to completion. And we have here with us our Emperor's Champion. Today we are going to start the painting process to make it go from this to this. Now, today all we're doing is just the armor bits. Those will come first, and then next will be the sword and then after that will be the shield, the belt, the sash, and then all the stuff that's on his belt and the things on his backpack right there. There we go. All those things. So this is going to be a multi-part painting uh, show here. And so what we'll do is we'll get started now. So I have my figure here on the Citadel figure holder. And then what you'll need is, if you've never painted uh, Warhammer figurines before, um, you don't necessarily need to get this. I just have it just because I like the way it, I can manipulate the figure throughout my fingers with it. You'll need some sort of a painting palette to put your paints on. You're going to need a pot of water or a cup of water or something because you'll want to wash your brushes off with that. Speaking of brushes... Just get yourself, these are old junky ones. I'm just literally putting the black layer on today so they don't have to be perfect or anything by any means necessary. And then uh, you'll need some paints, obviously. So Citadel makes a Corvus black and a Abaddon black or Abaddon or however you wanna. So this one's more of a gray, this one's more of a dark. I think what we're going to do is we're going to use this one today because I want to try to make it as black as possible for the said Black Templars uh, because these guys are badass. So first thing you want to do is you just want to go ahead and shake it up. Now, the thing about Citadel paints is that they are very thick coming out of the pot. So what you'll actually want to do is you'll take a little bit of paint, put it on your palette here, and then you'll actually grab your pot and then you'll actually, you'll want to thin your paints down with water for two reasons. One, you want it to flow nicely onto your model and two, the thinner paint won't gum up the details like the shield or any of those little other bits right there. And it's always better to do two small or two thin coats of paints than one large, huge one. So with that being said, we're just going to go ahead and I hope this stays in focus for the time being. And we'll just put the paint on. And at this stage, you don't have to be necessarily neat. You don't have to, because this is just the base color for the armor. That is all. It's more important that you don't gum up the details and lose that because you can always add more thin paint. It's hard to remove thick paint. Then we'll get all that right there. We'll just come around here like this. Make sure you get your brush into all the little recesses right here. That shield, we'll get the that don't worry about the sash part there again that's going to be a completely different color and i can see that some of the gray primer is getting through the black paint so this is why we're going to do two thin coats yeah we gotta make sure we get the backpack up here and the helmet 
and the back part of his armor here. Yeah, just try to get all that black paint into the recesses and not gum up. the model, just like so. Now, as you can see, sometimes it looks like my brush might be too big to get into certain spots. And that part is true. And if you want to, and you're certainly more than welcome to, you can just move on to a smaller brush. You know, you can use multiple brush sizes for this step or any step. Again, this is your model. You can actually do it however you want to. If you want to make him a purple Templar, you can make him a purple Templar. No one's going to judge. This is your model. You paid the hard-earned money for it. You go ahead and paint him however you want. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to get that painted. I'm going to make that a brown. And we'll just go make sure that's all thinned across so that it takes the other paint. And then, and if we need to, we can just add a little bit more paint to our palette here. Just ever so slightly dip it in the water, thin it down like so. And then you just go right back to painting. Just let it flow. It's almost ink-like is what you want to have. And then we got to make sure we get that back part there. Ooh, yeah, underneath here. Make sure that you get every single little bit. And not gunk up the details like I've said before. Don't worry about the base. That's going to be a different uh, video, how we're going to decorate the base. And let's see, I think right now I've got everything that I want covered. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this dry for about 15, 20 minutes and let's wash our brush off here. The good thing about Citadel paints while they are expensive, they do clean up really, really good with water. So you don't need to buy like a separate cleaner or anything like you do with enamels or other things. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to let that completely dry. That's going to take, I give them about half an hour, 45 minutes, you know, to just really, really dry. And then we're going to go over it again. Now I'm not going to have you watch me put on a completely second layer of that. So I'm going to show you the final results when I get that all completed. So we'll be right back. Okay. And we're back and I have just completed the second thin coat of Abaddon black to the model. And while it goes on shiny, it will go ahead and get dull as it's drying so it won't be obviously the shiny when it's done so that'll be the ending of the step one here so step two what we're going to do is we're going to do the sword the sword with the chains and the ribbons here on the back. We're going to do that next time. And we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to show you what uh, colors are going to be needed, techniques, things like that. So with that, we're going to go ahead and let this guy dry. And then we'll start on phase two of the painting. So thank you very much for joining me today. I hope this at least passed a little bit of time for you. So until next time, have a great day. Stay safe out there. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, you handsome man. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, you beautiful, beautiful woman. And we'll see you all in the next video.